Wow, folks. Um, amazing stand deliver pay per view. Start off the WrestleMania weekend. The pre show match Joe Gacy beat Sean Spears with a back body drop and then a clothesline off the ropes. Nobody cared at all for that match, I noticed. The opening match was Braun Breaker and Barry Corbin defending the Tag Team Championships against Exion and Nathan Fraser. As they get in the ring, Exion and Fraser hit stereo drop kicks, knocking down the champions, and Exion hit two more. Onto the champions, and Nathan Fraser came out of the corner. DDT, Baron Corbin down, ran out of the opposite corner of a shooting star press. That was awesome. Baron Corbin ended the offense with a deep six on Exion. Powerbomb Nathan Fraser. Powerbomb Exion. That was awesome. Braun Breaker speared himself with the still steps. And that almost cost him the match because Corbin got hit with the golden ratio from Exion. The Nathan Fraser came off the ropes with a Phoenix Splash, but Braun made the save in the nick of time. Braun Breaker did the Steiner recliner screwdriver off the top rope like Scott Stein used to do. And he actually knocked down Corbin. That was funny. Um, Braun got busted Nathan Frazier. Ran off the ropes. Um, knocked down Exion. Jumped on the ropes. Exion got up. Ran. Jumped off the ropes. Spanish fly. And Nathan Frazier came off the opposite corner. With a 630 splash. Corbin made the save. Then Corbin's like enough of this. End of days on Exion. Picked up Nathan Frazier. Flipped him over. Braun speared him in half with a 1 2 3. Still, your tag team champions, Braun and Corbin. Awesome show to kick it off. Then we had a free way for the North American Championship. Uma Fema took on Die Jack and Joss Briggs. Before the match, Uma Fema's doing his entrance. Metaphor is backstage because they're the guest host of Stand Deliver this year. They're talking. And he shoves Masu down. Norm Dazik, hey, gets right in the face. Norm Dazik, you don't shove my friend down. Uma Fima's like, you want to test me? And Orlandar just lets him walk by. That was hilarious. Awesome triple threat. Like I knew it was going to be. Joss Briggs caught Dijak coming off the ropes with a big boot to the guts. Then massive big boot to the face. Uma Fima at one point big booted Briggs down. Grill press slam Dijak on top of Joss Briggs. Then he's just like double team shoulder tackles. Double team clothesline. Finally, Die Jack Briggs knows we're getting our asses kicked by the North American champion, so they started double teaming him. Like Die Jack hit the sit down choke slam. Joss Briggs came off the top rope of a moonsault. Then they deliver a double team choke slam onto him, but he kicked out. That was awesome. Like one guy pinned him, he kicked out. The other guy quickly pinned him, he kicked out. Briggs, um, Die Jack, Uma Fema did this. It was like one guy, big boot, the guy here, turn around, big boot, the other guy. The other guy turn around, big boot, the other guy. He would turn around, close on the guy. The guy would get up, turn around, close on that guy down. That was just an awesome sequence of moves. Um, Die Jack delivered two back to back big boots on Uma Fema. Two go to sleeps. Had that North America Championship won. Then suddenly, Josh Briggs pulled the referee out, smiled, smirked. Die Jack went after him and beat the shit out of him outside of that ring. Back to back, go to sleeps outside. Back to back, this is big boots. Rolled him in the ring. Was pinning him. Uma Fima picked him up. Powerballed him on top of Joss Briggs. Pinned Briggs to retain his North American Championship. Then we had a 6 1 tag. Fear Hill, Daisy Duke, and Jordan with Chase U at ringside against JC Jade, Izzy Dame, Caden James with Jasmine at ringside. And this match was terrible. Like the match started, the Hills attacked the faces. And isolate one of them, beat the crap out of her, not once trying to make the cover. She'll get free, tag in the other ones. They did that all free win them, not once did they try to win the match. Then Fia Hill snaps in the arm bar submission like that, Izzy Dane taps out. I hate that. Her arm her arm finisher is a submission finisher. Work on the arm during the match. Don't just apply within the end of the match and quickly win it. I hate that. Next up, NXT Women's Championship. Roxanne Perez against Adi Valkyrie. Ollie Valkyrie delivered three North and Ice suplexes in a row. A roundhouse kick to the back of the head knocked down Roxanne. That was nasty as hell. A right in knee to the face. A right in side kick. Roxanne finally attacked the injured arm. Snap mirrored down a few times. Bent that son of a bitch sideways. Like the way it should not be bent. Stomped on it. Jumped off the top rope. Delivered knees down on it. Ollie Valkyrie was screaming in pain. Then suddenly, Tate to Paxi ran out. Start rubbing the arm, trying to make it feel better for a secret crush lover there. And Roxanne knocked her off the ring apron. Yo, do you knock her cost me this my title? 
almost cost her the title. Roxanne delivered hot pox. Oddly Valkyrie kicked out. Oddly Valkyrie went for a Nightwing, her finisher, which is like a Falcon Arrow. Roxanne countered that into a second hot pox, into an STF submission. Oddly Valkyrie three times kept reversing it into a row up, and Roxanne reversing it back to the STF. Finally, Roxanne, her arm was too damaged, she tapped out. I'm sorry, Adi Valkyrie's arm was too damaged. Roxanne won the match. Adi Valkyrie tapped out. Um, she quickly left the ring. She was holding on to her arm. She Because she, Roxanne did a lot of damage to that arm. Roxanne Perez was celebrating. I love this. Booker T standing up, applying. Brian Riggle looked like he had like, just ate something. And looked like he was going to throw up. Because his facial expression, you could tell he was disgusted with the actions of Roxanne Perez. And I don't blame him because Roxanne has turned into Charlotte Flair. She constantly wants free handouts. Constantly wants to be in the spotlight over the title. Looks what's happened to Charlotte Flair. A lot of fans hate her now. And now they're going to do the same fan to Roxanne Perez. That's what wearing Riggle's face so expression was like. And Booker T was getting pissed off that nobody else was applying the fact that Roxanne won the title. His student there. Dragunov defending his world championship against Tony the Dawn. With all members of the Mafia at ringside. Dragging off to the four German suplexes in a row. Came off the ropes. Went for a power bomb. That was awesome. Went for a second drop kick. This time off the top rope. And connected with the first one. Tony countered it with a power bomb. One hand spine buster. Hit one hell of a running forearm shot. Dragging off knocked right into the corner. Then um he backed up and ran. Dragging off moved out of the way. Tony crashed the burn in the corner. Dragging off hit that running H bomb. The running forearm smash twice in a row in the corner. Started doing like the Samoa Joe style kicks in the corner. Then Tostax placed brass knuckles on the hand of Tony. Tony pulled him off, shoved him into the face of Tostax. I don't want to win like that. I got too much respect for him. He got up. Dragunov hit a third H-bomb. Tony landed outside the ring. Dragunov delivered a four H-bomb. Put him on the announce table. Delivered a fifth one. Put him for the announce table. Rolled him in the ring. Delivered two more in a row. One to the back of the head of Tony. Picked up the win. Still your world champion, Dragunov. After the match, Tony shook his hand. Top Stack's like, what the hell, man? You couldn't use the brass knuckles. And Tony's like, I don't want to talk about it. And he he had to be helped to the back. Because that was like seven H-bombs. Like that running form smash. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I want to be helped to the back too. That many delivered to me. Now, your main event was Kamel Hayes, Trick Williams. Awesome way to end the pay-per-view. Um, Trick Williams came out, Kameo A's came out, the jersey was shown on the rafters with Trick's name on it, Trick's like, I don't think so, attacked Kameo Hayes, just whooping his ass, until Kameo came off the ropes, one hell of a blockbuster on the outside onto Trick, that was awesome, came off the ropes again, this time Trick countered for uppercut, running knee to the face, uh, Kameo Hayes fought back with a herd of Karana into STF submission, Trick Williams countered that, running big boot to the face. Kamel Hayes did the HBK style lip up from that. Paid dirt onto Trick Williams. That was an awesome sequence there. Then Kamel Hayes went off the top rope for the leg drop. Trick moved out of the way, spinning sidekick, knocked down Kamel Hayes. And as he knocked down Kamel Hayes, the referee got knocked down. So Kamelo chop blocked the leg, low blow to Trick, deliver, I think it was some kind of like a X Pac style face buster, but he kind of like flipped when he did it. Um, Trick kicked out. Kamel Hayes grabbed a steel chair. Trick got a hold of it, started delivering chair shots across the back. Referee came to stop the chair assault. Turn around. Kamel Hayes, second low blow. Bounced off the ropes. Trick caught him with a running knee to the face. One, two, three. Your winner, Trick Williams. And he whooped that ass, folks. Great stand and deliver. I love the tag team title match. I love the North American Championship Freeway. I love the NXT World Championship. The NXT Winnems Championship. The main event was awesome. The Joe Gacy, Sean Spears, and the 6-1 tag. They could have done without because they weren't all that good matches. And The Rock started made an earth-shocking announcement. She announced that there's a new singles title coming for the Winnem. Which is good because a lot of Winnem NXT, they need more than one title. And it's going to be the North American Wyndham's Championship, which is just like the same bout to sign, like the North American title. But instead of red and gold, it's white and gold. I hope it's not out of tournament. Maybe like a Battle Royal. Change it up because they've had way too many tournaments. 
within the year already. Um, also, there's a newcomer. He's been on NXT level up. He's called Javon Heights. Um, he's 19 years old. I guess they're going to push him already because he's being caught up to the main roster this Tuesday in NXT. And I've seen him make NXT level up. Every time he does a move, he keeps constantly pulling his tights up. He's not but skin and bones. And he reminds me if Matt Riddle, Rob Van Dam, and Kobe Kingston, like if you took all three of their DNAs and made this superstar, that's who you would make. And he reminds me so much of the three of those guys' personalities. Can't waste. He's okay. I just can't wait to see how he does on the main roster against people like Braun Breaker and that. I think it's way too soon calling him up. But hey, what do I know, right? Awesome pay-per-view to start off the WrestleMania weekend. WrestleMania Night 1's happening tonight, folks. And the main event that's been announced for that is, of course, Cody and Seth versus Roman. And the Rock with stipulations. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch may be kicking off WrestleMania. Or it's going to be the six-man tag team ladder match. They haven't decided yet which one of those two matches are going to kick off the show. Let me know below. Do you think it's going to be Rhea Ripley and Becky kicking it off? Or the six-team ladder match? I'm hoping it's Rhea and Becky. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.